Back to Minds Mind Tutorials, our today's topic is fertilization process. We were seeing the topic fertilization in the previous video. We saw everything about types of fertilization, introduction of fertilization and in this video we will be talking about fertilization processes. So let's get started. The first thing here is the fertilization completes in the following steps. First process is activation of eggs. This process is completed in following steps. So let's see the steps first. First is the movement of the sperm towards the eggs. So uh, first of all the sperm will try to move towards the the egg through some uh, kind of hormones and so, sorry I mean through some kind of chemicals so the sperms present in the fluid around egg without any determined plan randomly starts moving towards the egg because they don't have any eyes so that they can see the eggs so uh, there, there are some chemicals through which they are attracted towards the eggs the collision of sperm with egg is by chance the collision is possible due to large number of sperms and large size of egg so the thing which is happening here is that there is a collision which which always occur between a sperm and egg but this only happens uh, if there is a good possibility good probability and good chance after this collision the fertilizing and anti fertilizing gets activated now after the movement of the sperm towards the egg and the collision there is a activation of sperm taking place when the sperm with special type of anti fertilizing collides with egg water then there is a change in acrosome of the sperm now uh, if we see the structure of sperm there is a acrosome thing you can can see here in the diagram acrosome is present in the sperm so uh, that acrosome gets activated in the activation of sperm and its margin starts degenerating there is a, a degeneration occurring on the margins of this uh, sperm's membrane and it uh, starts releasing some lysine enzymes lytic enzymes uh, along with this acrosome um, membrane's degeneration and it cracks the eggs afterwards the middle part of acrosome forms a tube of about 1 to 75 micrometers long which is called acrosomal filament now the second step is in activation of sperm is acrosomal filament is formed in it this of uh, this this filament is like a solid tube which emerges out from the head of the sperm from which part it is coming out it is coming out from the head of the sperm when this sperm reaches near the egg then this acrosomal filament penetrates the egg jelly and the vitelline membrane with the help of lysine, lytic enzymes or we can say lysine enzymes. Next is activation of egg and insemination. As soon as acrosomal filament touches the surface of the egg, the ooplasm of egg comes out in the form of a cone at the point of contact. This is called fertilization zone. So what is forming here is there is a fertilization zone coming out and uh, also there is a formation of cone which is uh, present on the ovum. Now fertilization zone can be spiral, slender or irregular fertilization zone is uh, irregular fertilization zone is made up of plasma membrane and transparent high lean cytoplasm the fertilization zone gulps the sperm so it is engulfing the sperm kind of engulfing the sperm inside it and this sperm is surrounded by cytoplasma travels inside now the sperm is traveling inside of the ovum the penetration of egg by sperm is called insemination so here is the definition of insemination the penetration of egg by sperm is known as insemination and uh, first of all before moving ahead we should uh, first see this diagram formation of acrosome filament now this is a basic diagram of a sperm showing acrosome axial rod nucleus this is the head of the sperm first of all then this is a nucleus here is a mitochondrion part and the proximal centriole and the distal centriole after uh, after this diagram we will see the acrosome formation or the we can see acrosome filament formation acrosomal tubule formation now here is the acrosomal tubule slowly developing from the breaking of this acrosomal membrane after this it starts to develop more uh, and start to form a uh, rod kind of structure here which is known as acrosome rod or acrosomal tubule fold of acrosome and plasma membrane now a, a thin now afterwards a thin fertilization membrane is formed around the plasma membrane just after insemination. The fertilization membrane prohibits the entry of other sperms. So the uh, advantage or we can say the use of fertilization membrane is coming here. That fertilization membrane prohibits it stops the entry of other sperms into the egg now. Uh, that is it is uh, helping in the uh, monospermy not uh, and not favoring the polyspermy here. Now here is the diagram for process of fertilization in animals. The first diagram is showing the sperm structure and the um, upper part of the egg now here is the egg envelope here is the acrosome so here is the acrosome after this here is a sperm nucleus and plasma membrane of sperm 
Now here is the acrosome releasing out um, after bursting and acrosomal granules are filling inside the ovum. Then here is sperm nucleus again and a, a sperm tubule that is acrosomal tubule is forming here that is a tube is coming here into the plasma membrane of egg. Distal centriole is shown here, proximal centriole is shown here, tail of sperm is shown here and mitochondria of middle piece is here. After some time uh, what, what is happening here is fusion of plasma membranes of egg and sperm is occurring here and then here is a fertilization cone formation. Now we will see the amphimix. So in amphimixis, it is a union of male and female nuclei and it, it is known as amphimixis. If uh, somebody is asking you the union of male and female gamete, then it is known as fertilization. But if somebody is asking the union of male and female nuclei or pronuclei, then it is known as amphimixis. Now there are three probabilities during insemination. First is the entire sperm penetrates the egg as in mammals and the tail of sperm remains outside the egg as in echinoderms or the tail and middle piece of sperm remains outside the egg and its head and centromeres enters the egg as in nares. So uh, sperm can enter completely or half of it or only one fourth, one fourth of it can enter into the ovum. So this was a small thing which we saw in amphimixis. After this is effects of fertilization fertilization following effects are produced in the ovum as a result of fertilization first is loss of fertilization cone the cone which were which was formed during the uh, fertilization process now the uh, there will be a loss of this fertilization cone there will be no remain of this fertilization cone and the fertilization cone developed at the time of fertilization is withdrawn into the cytoplasm soon after the sperm finds an entry into the ovum so after entering of the uh, entry of the sperm into the ovum there will be no uh, fertilization cone uh, present there and it it will die into the cytoplasm as well as so the second point is formation of perivitelline space after the penetration of sperm the peripheral cytoplasm of the ovum liquefies and accumulates between the plasma lemma and the perivitelline membrane and this uh, fluid filled space is known as perivitelline space so after the penetration of sperm the peripheral cytoplasm of the ovum liquefies there will be a liquefaction kind of thing coming in the uh, in the peripheral uh, cytoplasm portion and it will start accumulating between the plasma lemma and the perivitelline membrane so this is the main point here next this fluid filled space the space in which fluid is filled this is known as perivitelline space and the fluid which is filled inside this space is known as perivitelline fluid. Now next point is formation of fertilization membrane. The, the vitelline membrane gets converted into tough fertilization membrane. Afterwards this uh, vitelline membrane gets converted into tough fertilization membrane and this enables the zygote to perform rotating movements. This membrane prevents the entry of the sperm into the ovum. Again it is favoring the monospermy and not favoring the polyspermy. And next and next function here is it also enables the zygote to perform rotating movements during the uh, developmental time or we can say during whole embryogenesis. Next here is polarity. The zygote gets differentiated into two poles. There will be two poles in the zygote. The active anterior part is called animal pole. So the active anterior part is known as animal pole so you can see, uh, see a kind of trick coming here uh, the whole three words are starting with a a and a active anterior animal pole and it is filled with a clear yolkless protoplasm and other part is the less active yolky posterior part it is posterior and less active too and it is known as vegetative, uh, vegetative pole so this was ab all, uh, all about the polarity next is chemical change here is chemical change. Rapid chemical changes takes place in the cytoplasm of the zygote which prevent the entry of other sperms. So there will be some sort of chemical changes uh, now which will occur in the zygote and which will prevent the other ent uh, uh, entry of other sperms I can say. Now the adenyl cyclase enzyme activates and forms 3-5- cyclic AMP molecules which stimulate other metabolic reactions in the zygote. So this was the thing here that adenyl cyclase is converting into 3-5- cyclic AMP molecules and it starts simulating other metabolic reactions in the zygote. And the last point here is physiological changes. Now following physiological changes occur in the zygote as a result of fertilization. After fertilization uh, we will see some changes in zygote and th that will be like first point is increased permeability of the protoplasm. Uh, permeability of protoplasm will increase. Second point is increased metabolic activity and oxygen consumption, oxidation of glycogen and other food materials, synthesis of protein and ATP molecules etc. Now the last topic is chemistry of fertilization. So we will adjust it a bit. So I think this 
इज गुड नाउ लेट सी केमिस्ट्री ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन बोथ ओवा एंड स्पॉम्स कंटेन्स सर्टन स्पेसिफिक केमिकल सब्सटेंसेज नेसेसरी फॉर फर्टिलाइजेशन इन बोथ ऑफ द ओवम एंड स्पॉम देर आर फर्टिलाइजेशन सब्सटेंसेज एंड ड्यू टू देर सिमिलरिटी विद द हॉर्मोन्स फाउंड इन गैमेट्स दीज आर कॉल्ड गेमोन्स सो द हॉर्मोन्स प्रेजेंट इन दीज गैमेट्स आर नोन एज गेमोन्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू बी नोटेड हियर हॉर्मोन्स फाउंड इन गैमेट्स are known as gametes and the hormones obtained from sperms are called androgamones so the hormones which are coming from sperms are known as androgamones while the hormones obtained from ova are called gynogamones now androgamones is the first thing here androgamones androgamones are of two types androgamone 1 and androgamone 2 androgamone 1 conserves the limited energy of the sperm if the sperm will start swimming a uh, sperm will start swimming rapidly in the beginning then the energy stored in it will be quickly exhausted and it will not be able to reach to the ovum so androgamone is uh, helping in conserving the energy uh, conserving the limited energy of the sperm we can say because if the sperm will start swimming and swimming rapidly then in in the beginning there the then the energy stored in it will be quickly exhausted and it will not be able to reach to the ovum so it helps in uh, giving that energy back to it so endogamon one regulates the hyperactivity of the sperm and thus conserves the energy to make the sperm capable of reaching the reaching to the ovum so that a limited kind of energy is used whole uh, in the whole process not quickly all the energy is exhausted in the beginning only so this was the thing here and this enhances the possibilities of fertilization here so this uh, endogamon one helps in the possibility of fertilization and what endogamon 2 does endogamon 2 helps in the dissolution of gelatinous covering around the ovum so it is helping in the dissolution of the membrane which is covering the ovum so that sperm can enter into the ovum and fertilize the ovum and form zygote now the second one here is gynogamons so the hormone secreted by ovum is known as gynogamons gynogamons are also of two types gynogamon 1 and gynogamon 2 gynogamon is formed in the ovum itself and it inhibits the effect of endogamon 1 after the sperm comes in contact with the ovum and thus increases the activity of the sperm so what it is doing is gynogamon is formed in ovum itself and also it is inhibiting the effect of endogamon 1 it is just inhibiting its effect and after the sperm comes into contact with the ovum and after this it start increasing the activity of the sperm now gynogamon 2 also uh, if we see gynogamon 2 it helps the sperm in adhering to the ovum by making the add of the sperm end of this sperm adhesive as a result of which endogamon 2 gets sufficient time to dissolve the vitelline membrane of the ovum so what this uh, g2 or we can say gynogamon will do this gynogamon 2 will just adhere or attach the uh, sperm to the ovum so that so after attaching uh, this gynogamon will attach the sperm to the ovum so that that endogamon 2 will get the proper time to dissolve the vitelline membrane of the ovum and will Uh, finally enter into the ovum so these were the hormones present uh, in the sperm and ovum endogamons gynogamons endogamons 1 endogamons 2 gynogamons 1 and gynogamons 2 many times a1 a2 g1 g2 can also be set for them now last is importance of fertilization importance of fertilization it decides the importance of fertilization it decides the special types of diploidy of male and female gametes and it decides the definite poles of the x2 it produces new genetic combination it activates the egg for cleavage and it increases the metabolic activities and protein synthesis so this were only five importance of fertilization there can be more detailed of uh, fertilization advantages too uh, which we can see in further videos if you would like to see so that's all about fertilization now we will see some questions right now because if we will practice this topic uh, so so if we will uh, practice this topic we will get a good command over it so let's see the first question right now long answer type questions write an essay on fertilization what is fertilization describe the process and significance of fertilization describe the process of fertilization in detail describe the main events occurring during fertilization process and write its significance now short answer type questions define fertilization write a note on fertilization describe the process of activation of sperm at the time of fertilization or write short notes on following like types of fertilization external and internal fertilization process of fertilization chemistry of fertilization importance of fertilization and like emphemixes now finally we are up to the objective type questions so we'll be seeing one by one first one is penetration of sperm into ovum is called fertilization gametogenesis insemination or emphemixes right answer is third option insemination 
यूनियन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल न्यूक्लिया इज नोन एज फर्टिलाइजेशन इनसेमिनेशन गेमेटोजेनेसिस एम्फीमिक्सिस सो द राइट आंसर इज एम्फीमिक्सिस बिकॉज दे आर आस्किंग फॉर द यूनियन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल न्यूक्लिया नॉट ऑफ द गैमेट्स इफ देर वुड बी अ गैमेट देन द आंसर वुड बी फर्टिलाइजेशन बट हियर इज न्यूक्लिया सो द आंसर इज एम्फीमिक्सिस सेकेंड सो फोर्थ नाउ थर्ड इज फर्टिलाइजेशन अशोर्स हेप्लॉयडी ट्रिप्लॉयडी डिप्लॉयडी और टेट्राप्लॉयडी सो इट अशोर्स डिप्लॉयडी तो सो द राइट आंसर हियर इज सेकेंड वन नाउ द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन हियर इज आई विल एडजस्ट इट अ बेट सो आई थिंक दिस इज गुड नाउ द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन हियर इज Who conserves the limited energy of the sperm? Endogamon one, endogamon two, gynogamon one, gynogamon two. These two options are definitely not the right because they are present. Uh, they are the hormones of ovum. So the answer is endogamon one. Now next question is hormones obtained from gametes are called gamons, thyroxine, adrenaline, or relaxin. So the right answer is gamons. Next question here is in which of the following fertilization occurs externally in water hydra cockroach earthworm or frog so the right answer is frog next question is acrosome is formed by mitochondria endoplasmic golgi body or lysosome right answer is golgi body now last now the last question here is fertilization is found in acrosome of sperm nucleus uh, nucleus of sperm mature egg or immature egg so it is found in acrosome of sperm so we saw eight objectives here which were very important for the uh, csir net exam or we can say any uh, um, undergraduate or pg exams which you are preparing for so that's all about fertilization thank you so much and don't forget to like share and subscribe and happy learning thank you